this is not an easy decision. Um, the smart core is on the left, the shawl flooring is on the right. Um, and I think after much debate, we are going to go with the shawl flooring, which is what we had picked out originally. Um, the colors we, just go better. We like the fact that it picks up some of the tans that we've had in here. Even though we are doing a lot of grays, we don't want to completely lose the tan color that we've kind of had going in the camper originally. So this will give you an idea of um, what's to come in terms of the floor. Yeah, and there's pros and cons to both. Um, the shawl flooring seems to be a lot more lightweight, uh, not as heavy, whereas the Smart Core uh, is a lot heavier. It doesn't cover up as much um, floor space as the shawl. But from what I hear, um, one expands and contracts more than the other, and so we're just going to have to see how it works. Um, you know, this nothing has to be forever, right? That's correct. We can always redo something later at some other time. But we're going to go with the shawl flooring for now, which is the one on the right. And I think that that's, I think that's the best choice for this, the colors. Yes, I agree. Show you what I did in here. Um, there was a few places here that um, got torn out when the wood was rotted, and I put some wood filler in and sanded it back down so that this transition right here between the two will be smooth and easy, so that when we lay down the floor, there won't be a variance there. Yeah, I replaced the weather stripping all around. And so far, we haven't had any um, anything wet in there. While we were at it, I went ahead and put new weather stripping in here around the door as well. Okay, um, at first I was using the scroll saw to cut the pieces, but this is one of those things where you learn as you go, I guess, and I learned that um, if I just make a score line, I don't know if you can see it, if I just make a score line on the pieces with a, um, a cutter, then uh, they will break right apart. Then you can just break it right along that line and everything will be perfectly straight when uh, it comes apart.
Okay, the bedroom is almost done. I've just got this one little strip left in this section. Of course, that's not going to take a whole piece, so I'm going to have to cut a piece uh, in half. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I do that. As I said before, I used to use the scroll saw to do this, but it left the edges real jagged and I didn't like that. And then when I found out that I could just make a score line and break it in half, uh, that uh, made things look a lot smoother and it was uh, much better. So what I have here, this is actually an actual uh, fa fabric cutter. Uh, I use this when I make my kites. And it's really handy because I can use the measurements on the fabric cutter to make specific measurements of the pieces of the flooring. And uh, like right now I have to uh, cut it to where it's three inches. So I just line everything up right at the three inch mark right there. And then... Uh, I will cut down that far and it'll just break and it'll just break apart. Now I see it's a perfectly straight line. Flooring is coming along just nicely. I've got a little bit more to do, and we'll probably put some quarter around around the edges. Um, just got a little bit more over here and over there at the dinette lounge area. Got a little bit more there to do. I'm about to start on the fourth box. I probably won't even use this whole box, and I'll be done. Hey, sunlight wonderful been doing nothing but rain the last few days it is done um, it's hard to believe that there was a gaping hole here just a few weeks ago and now it looks Brand spanking new. This is uh, really, really good. That's all I can do for today. Uh, we're going to call it a day. And, uh, more next week we're going to start getting into the uh, decorating uh, we're going to be putting up curtains we're going to be uh, putting out the decorations and really fixing this thing up we're about to be complete and ready to move in so uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see you next time